weekend I got the backhoe running. Um, I wasn't confident on how I set the pump timing, even though it ran. So I did a little extra research and uh, ended up going back over to the crank pulley, sanding where the timing marks were. So I only saw three lines on it. There was enough paint that it covered up the rest of it. So I went and sanded that off this morning, and we're going to do uh, an in-depth video of doing this injection pump timing. The manual's a little vague, and I just I feel like it needs to be gone over again, and this will help out anybody that has to do this in the future. So to revisit this injection pump timing, we're going to remove this lower cover here. Diesel fuel will come out of that. Um, this front cover here, four half inch nuts, and that will give you access to the pump drive hub and drive gear, and we'll crawl under. I can give you a look at the timing marks. I can get that to focus. The top dead center is over here. I'll take a picture with my phone and I'll just add that in there. And then we've got uh, 6, 8, and then 10 is marked. 12, 14, 16, 18, 20 is marked. We're going for this line here which is going to be 16 degrees before top dead center. So I'll get this uh, apart and I'll show you what we're gonna do here to double check this. So we got that pump timing cover off window. The front cover off of uh, gear cover. We're going to turn the engine over counterclockwise until that pointer right there right there lines up with 16 degrees before top dead center. Then we will look in this window here and see if the scribe line is lined up with that pointer. Um, This gear, I guess, if we remove that center nut, the keyway should be in the 10 o'clock position, and number four should be in the lower right corner of that opening. Uh, that gear is numbered one through six, and number four uh, corresponds with the uh, this engine, the D268. It figures the weather's wrong and it starts raining early. But so I rolled this over to sixteen degrees before top dead center. And the keyway is down like five o'clock position. So we have to turn this over another revolution and that'll put that keyway on that pump where it needs to be for top dead center you can see down there it's in five o'clock position so we'll go another revolution that'll put the engine at top dead center we have that set at 16 degrees on the balancer and then we'll look in our window down there and if the scribe line is on the pointer we're good It 
If not, we have to loosen these three bolts on the drive hub and turn that until the scribe line does line up. Okay, so I had all three of those bolts on the drive hub loose. And I put the center nut back on and I turn that until the line in this window lined up with the pointer. And then while holding it, I tighten down one of those uh, hub, hub bolts so that I couldn't rotate back. I'll take a picture, put that up so you guys can see it. Double check the pump timing. I'm gonna see how it starts. Uh, I believe the proper cold starting procedure for this is to put the throttle halfway up on this engine. Like I said, there's no blow plugs or intake heater, no block heater plugged in. This engine did have an ether start on it, but I removed that. Let's see what it does.